In this video, we're going to look at multiple function parameters in Python. As an example, I'm going to create a function that calculates the volume of a box. I'm not actually sure what the mathematical term is for a box shape, but if I say a box, I think you'll know what kind of shape I'm talking about. So the formula for calculating the volume of a box is like this. You just multiply the width by the height and the length, and that gives you the volume. So if these are in centimeters, for example, you're going to get a volume in cubic centimeters. If they are in inches, the volumes in cubic inches and so on. So can we create a function which we can pass width, height and length to of a box and it will tell us the volume of the box. Let's create a main function and I'll put pass there for the moment and we'll try to create our function. So let's call it calculate box volume and we'll have a pass there just for the moment and the def keyword. So this is going to need three parameters. It's going to need a width, a height, and a length. And we can have functions that accept multiple arguments. So we can have multiple function parameters. Let's create them here. Width, comma, I usually put a space in as well, though it's not strictly necessary. Width, height, comma, and length. So these are called positional parameters because they get matched to arguments via their position. I'll show you what I mean. So we could already call that function, although it doesn't do anything yet. I can say calculate box volume, and we could pass in, let's say five for the width, two for the height, and 10 for the length. So these get matched up to the positional parameters via their position. So the five is gonna go into this width variable. The two is gonna go into the height variable, the 10 is going to go into the length variable. Now we can do the calculation with these and we could print the result of that calculation or we could also return it. Let's return it. So here I'll say return width times height times length. Where is this calculated value going to end up? Well, here we need a variable to store it. So let's say volume equals the return value of calculate box volume. And then we can print it. Let's say box volume is colon. And now I could do this. I could cast that volume to a string and then display it there. Actually, let's run this because it should work. But first, I'm gonna to have to remember to call main somewhere, otherwise it's not gonna do anything. Okay, now let's try this. And it says box volume is 100. But actually the print function can also accept multiple positional parameters. So another way of doing this, which is a better way, is to put a comma here and then volume. And then we don't actually need the space either because print will put a space in automatically. Let's run it. And you can see it looks the same. So this is the way I would normally use print to display multiple values. The only reason I was using concatenation before is because I think that will help you to get to grips with different types in Python. But by now you've probably basically got to grips with that. So I'm gonna start using multiple parameters with print. You just have to separate them with commas. And notice that when you call the function, the parameters are separated with commas. And when you list multiple parameters in the function header, they are also separated with commas. Also, you have to remember that when you supply multiple arguments to the print function, it automatically prints them with spaces in between, as you can see here. So try this out for yourself, type this out, get it working. And I am gonna give you an exercise with this. And you might want to first practice with some exercises you make up yourself. For example, you could easily now write a function that converts Fahrenheit to Celsius or vice versa, or does some other conversion. You know how to pass data to functions and you know how to return data from functions. One thing you might wonder is what happens if you supply the wrong number of arguments. 
calculate box volume here has three parameters, so we have to pass in three arguments. What happens if we only pass in two? Let's try it. In fact, we get an error. As you can see, it says it's missing one required positional argument, length. So we have to put in the right number of arguments. Python does actually check that they match. And that raises the question of how does print know how many arguments to accept? And that's something that we're going to look at later on. But for now, all you need to know is you have to supply the right number of arguments to match up with the number of parameters. And they have to be, of course, in the right order because they get matched up via that order in this case. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and Machine Learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.